this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel and today I need to talk about the invasion of the onion yes we have been invaded <coughs> so this is our uh, freeze dryer and so I thought it'd be cool to do some a tray of white onions and another three trays of yellow onions and uh, <coughs> and it came out great and I didn't show the cutting up or running the thing I'll show you the end result but this whole garage smells like onions and our house smells like onions why does our house smell like onions too besides the fact that I had to cut all those onions well because of this puppy this is our <laughs> heater and uh, apparently some of the fumes <coughs> of the onions which are ah, Let's put it this way. There's no mice in this garage anymore. Uh, <laughs> and it took like 31 hours to run all my onions. And uh, so <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to, uh, after this defrost, uh, I'm going to need to pull everything out and wash it down with wash uh, water and vinegar. Um, just to make sure <laughs> I get the onions out of it. But <clears throat> when you do onions everybody's gonna know you're doing onions yeah so I am in the kitchen now and uh, I was quite pleased of how our onions came out but I still can smell onions so we uh, did one tray of uh, this is like I mean super light of white onions and uh, these are gonna be so good to cook with I can't wait um, and we did three trays of yellow onions Pretty much got them all in quart jars. Had a little bit of leftover white onions. Uh, I'll use that for cooking tonight. And uh, very pleased. Uh, so yeah, our little collection of dried items, bananas and strawberries. Uh, tickled pink about that. So <clears throat> uh, so far my thumbs up is, is the uh, uh, freeze dryer is amazing. Totally amazing. So the next thing I'm going to do is a lot of celery and, and carrots. And reason being is I make a lot of, I like to make a lot of soups. And I use those a lot. It'd be really nice to have a cup, you know, dried uh, celery and, and carrots available for cooking. And uh, yeah, I super thumbs up for um, the, uh, Harvest Right. Oh my gosh. It's been a, uh, amazing the next thing I want to talk about is our hydroponics uh, it's go doing well we have broccoli started uh, radishes and uh, um, lettuce <laughs> so much going on and um, so let's go take a quick look so as you can see our radishes are doing uh, super uh, they're all coming up just fine uh, as soon as I start seeing a second leave and I know that the roots have gone down a little bit we'll start adding new, some um, nutrients to this this one here has got my lettuce in it um, they're just starting to show up and uh, over here is broccoli so it still has a few days for it to germinate and uh, we're thrilled that uh, so far it's doing well and uh, my nutrients uh, I'm just going to add them to the, uh, I'm going to try to grow everything from this uh, coconut core and uh, go from there. So, uh, so far so good. Everything's starting out well. The grow lights are amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, we do have a, a lot of uh, garlic, uh, not garlic, uh, onions coming in. Uh, Walla Walla Sweets and... Uh, uh, I also have blueberries uh, plants that I'm going to uh, put in this weekend. So uh, yeah, there's just a lot, and hopefully we get a greenhouse uh, plastic on today uh, this weekend. So <laughs> just can't keep track of it all. Anyway, let's move on. Well, today we're also doing something very important. Is uh, I think we're going to uh, add another camera to our chicken cam and so I'm back here at the house here and I run one of my cameras off of the back of the house here right there 
But um, now that the chicken cam is getting a little more exciting, I thought it'd be nice to put a third camera in to uh, look at the chickens from the nesting boxes. And so uh, let's uh, take this down and install it in the uh, chicken cam and, and also in the chicken house and see if we can't see our hens uh, nesting boxes and then see as they're uh, laying eggs. So I'm going to get that done right now. All right, guys. So uh, I got the next camera put in. I put it right here and uh, might be a little bit crooked and uh, we'll see how the chickens do with that camera in there. I've noticed a lot of people have questions about animals and chickens and having a home uh, farmstead and sorry about the wind. Uh, so why not put some cameras in there and tell people what it's like to have chickens and some of the problems we have and the good things. Uh, that's what the channel is all about. It's showing people what this lifestyle is like. And as we get other critters, we'll put cameras in there. Uh, wow, pretty windy. Put cameras in their cages. So let me uh, move on here. We are definitely having a windy day here today, but uh, I did get the camera installed, as you saw. And I also fed and watered the chickens. Sorry about the wind. And now I'm on my way to... Uh, Go get eggs. We'll see how many eggs we got. Looks like we got about nine eggs today. Looks really good. I also I made an adjustment to our camera, so our next uh, our next uh, chicken cam will have three cameras. So we're kind of excited about that. I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, yeah, let's move on. One of the things people ask us about it is uh, how we process our eggs. Now we keep a large amount of containers and uh, I just filled this one up and I've got plenty in the refrigerator too so what I do is I uh, check our eggs and like I said we tried to design our nesting boxes to try to keep our eggs as clean as possible without the chickens messing on them and uh, if they're perfectly clean we do not wash them um, reason being is when chickens lay their eggs they put a coating over the eggs and so uh, we, we don't really want to wash that off because uh, it will help keep the egg longer. Uh, your eggs that you buy in the grocery store are all washed and uh, their shelf life is less than one that's been processed, or that hasn't been processed. So, uh, but um, we do get messed up eggs like this one and those I do wash. Um, but if I can avoid it and get an egg that's perfectly clean, that one still needs washed. But uh, there's a nice clean egg. By the way, this egg is still warm. And I will not wash those if I can avoid it. Here's a great big brown one. Super brown. Nice and clean. And I do keep those. And uh, like I said, if I can avoid washing them, uh, this just means that they keep longer. And uh, they're protected more. Uh, for those of you that do your eggs in lime, to store your eggs, uh, it's important that your eggs are not washed. Uh, it causes them to uh, be protected longer. So do not put washed eggs into a lime solution uh, if you store your eggs that way. Another thing I thought I'd uh, point out to you guys, you might have noticed I have a lot of these cure eggs that are used. And what I do at the end of the day is I take each one of these cure eggs and I cut them open and, and uh, dump them out into a bowl. And I take those... Uh, uh, coffee grounds and I put them in our compost so I don't know, it just seems like such a waste well at least trying to get the coffee grounds out of them so anyway <laughs> I thought maybe I was doing the chicken thing and I thought oh I bet you they're wondering about that so I explained it once in one of my other videos but yeah coffee grounds are great for composting well guys that's the end of our video I uh, wanted to take the time to thank you and all the new subscribers too uh, I'm still waiting for the defrost to stop. I had to open up the garage, try to air it out here. It's definitely oniony. As uh, soon as this is done defrosting, I'm going to clean it out, pull out the, uh, the shelves and do uh, uh, water and vinegar and just kind of wipe it down and uh, make sure I don't have any onion smells because uh, 
I imagine that would uh, not be too pleasant on certain foods. So thanks again. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And uh, may you enjoy your next onion. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.